Love is in the air. Or at least on our front porch. We just made these two front porch signs, a door hanger and a leaner. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? We do too. We have a new video each week. This week, we're still in the middle of a craft room makeover. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cold outside. So we're gonna turn up the heat outside with a little bit of romance. It's just Valentine's front porch decor, really. Yeah, so if you've been following us a while, you know we love to fill up our front porch with fun things. And now that we're past the holidays, I will say when I drive by, because I technically have to drive by and turn around to park out front, it looks naked. We're missing some things out there. I still have my little lanterns out there, but uh, not That's even it. our welcome to our home. We usually yeah, put that out, yeah. it's still inside. So it is really looking naked. So this week we're gonna make some fun things. I'm not sure people will know it's our house. <laughs> Where do you live? Like, Are you the house with all that stuff on the front porch? <laughs> the delivery guy probably drives by several times now. He doesn't know. It's like we're incognito. <laughs> right? We're running low key yeah, right now. We're running low key. <laughs> But we're gonna change that. We're gonna heat things up, right? Right, right. <laughs> We've got ourselves a new front door wreath we're gonna make today and a leaning front porch sign that's gonna say love on it. So I think we've got a couple things to really spruce it up a bit. And well, I, I bought- think that, I think the front porch leaner answers a couple of questions. People were asking for smaller ones. And I think this one fits that. And I did buy a few little um, like ornament accents that I could put on our lanterns that are the hearts. Oh. So I think they're gonna look really cute out there too. So Top it up. yeah, it's gonna look good when we're done. All right. Project number one. We're making a heart wreath. So this is for our front door. You gotta have something on that front door. And we actually saw this at Michael's. It was scrawny. It was <laughs> so they keep teeny saying. tiny. <laughs> Nobody would have seen that. Well, I think it was like a 12 inch or something. Yeah, it was like 12 inches. I want to go like at least 18 inches. Yes. It's got to be at least 18 inches. It's got to make a statement, right? Well, put it on your door. <laughs> so we're going to kind of replicate what they've done, but make it a little bit bigger and better. More bodacious -er. <laughs> It's a word. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. Super short list. Quarter inch MDF, enough to go through the pasture because we want it 18 inches. And then some paints. Oh, paint brushes. Glue. Oh, and glue. <laughs> That's it. It's oh, easy. Ribbon. Oh, and ribbon. Maybe you should do it again. MDF, glue. Paint, paint brushes. And, and ribbon. And ribbon. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Step. Two, uh, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're just gonna take this quarter inch MDF over the glow forge and cut it out using the pass-through. Yes, and we'll make the SVGs available in our store so that you can use whatever tool you have, the Cameo, the Cricut, or uh, an X-Carve. X-Carve. <laughs> we try and make these versatile so you can use the tools at your disposal. Of course, Garrett loves his Glowforge. That's what we're gonna make ours out of today. Oops. And we'll make this available in our store so that you can go purchase it already cut. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll throw them out there for you. <laughs> Let's jump into Glowforge. We're gonna create new. Upload file. My heart wreath. Now what I did is I set this up so that everything's vertical. And knowing that the pass-through will start at the bottom of the image. That's where I put the, the base of the wreath, the big part, the part that actually needs the pass-through. So let's go ahead and make this a little smaller. We'll control A to select all, move it up. Uh, okay. Let's select thick draft board because I'm gonna use quarter inch MDF. Cut, cut. This one's a score, score. I'm just using proof grade, proof grade cuts for the quarter inch thick draft board. Let's make the magic happen so that this actually looks like what we're trying to do. Bam, look at that, all right. Looks great. Everything lines up, ready to go. I'm gonna go load a board and then print this thing. Oh, I guess I gotta turn it on and load a board and then print this thing. 
what I love about this. You can do your designs and stuff online, and when you're ready to print, turn it on. Step three. Oh, now we paint. <laughs> Good job. You probably yeah. could have jumped over the table to catch that. Yeah, I almost did. So everything's cut out. Uh, you want to try to hold it up? Um, I can try. Yeah, see. All right, let's see how far you can go before it all slides. Layers on layers on <laughs> layers. It's like three layers, but it looks cool. Now we're just going to paint. You know we use that country chic paint because it's a one coat. It's our favorite paint. So here we're gonna start with our backer. Just the, it's a nice foundation for each of the hearts. I don't think I you have thinking, to paint the whole thing. I think you just gotta paint the edges really. Maybe Cause then we're gonna glue little. these on. Uh, do I have to paint those at all? Maybe you don't even have to paint them. I don't think you do. I wouldn't even paint them. No. But I'm we just do have to paint the, these big hearts. Start with the hearts. Red, we're gonna do these red. Yep, we're gonna, so there's a three layer heart. A three layer heart here. The base layer is going to be red. We're going to do that in this bright red, this devotion. And then the middle layer is going to be in white and we're going to do that in our crinoline. And then the top layer is going to be red again. It's just a red and white. It's a little... Hey babe. <laughs> oh my god, eyes for you. <laughs> Is it romantic because the hearts? Even, I don't even think you got eyes. I feel like I'm going to scratch a cornea. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of what I'm thinking. Those points are digging into his face. You don't okay. heal from that at my age. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. You want to do you want to do the white ones and I'll do the red ones? Yeah, sounds good. Now, the key to painting this is to swipe towards the outside edge. Inside out. So if you paint over one of these score marks, just like I did, all you gotta do is take your picker tool and just drag it down the score mark. Pull that paint right back out. Don't let it get too dry and don't do it too wet. You gotta find that happy medium. You know, that was, that was very explanatory. Got a little paint on some of my edges. I want it to look crisp. So I'm coming in with a little black paint marker. How do yours look? All oh, yours look good? Of course mine look good. Oh, of course they do. I don't know how to paint. Hold up. Oh, wow, look at all this. Ooh, who did that paint job? That's horrible. Oh, stop. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, wow, what happened there? Right Paintbrush there. get away from you? <laughs> Little specks of paint over the side. Wait, one more, I saw this one. Whoa, that you one just dropped like that in the bucket of paint? That one looks like it was on my finger. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna take our little base, which already has the outline set for you. And we're gonna glue each of our oh, red hearts on. Oh, 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 oh my hold gosh, up. yeah, my bad. Step four. Now we're gonna Gorilla glue it down. What was I thinking? Okay, continue. <laughs> so now these hearts are already here. We know exactly where to put our big hearts. I'm just gonna add a dab of glue and assemble it. Oh, oh yeah, in. wait. That one does get painted. Hold on. Do we have any paper towels up here? Okay, little tidbit here for assembling this one. Uh, we double stack the hearts, actually triple stack the hearts all the way around, but these side hearts, they need to be painted because we're gonna put a cute little double stack ribbon on there and so they need to be painted underneath so we didn't we didn't catch that at first so now you know 
And well, and the other thing is the, did you just do that? Is that why you're like, I'll touch it up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then in between these hearts, there's a little ribbon that runs through them and that you'll be able to see in between the hearts. So we hit that with some white. Damn. And I made it perfect a moment ago, and then Garrett comes along and says, Well, just wait till it dries. We'll just wait till it dries. Let's start gluing these down before that glue dries. All right, all right. We're gonna set this aside to dry. It needs a couple of minutes. We'll give it some private time. <laughs> Let it do its thing, and we'll be back. We'll be back. Project number two. Front porch welcome sign. Little front porch love. It's little and it says love. Yeah, this is just your typical front porch leaner. We get a lot of questions about or even at the farmer's market, we were getting some feedback. Uh, I wish it was smaller. Yeah. And I kept thinking, well, your door mm. is that big. Aren't yeah. you gonna sit up next to your door? <laughs> but I get a lot of feedback around a smaller front porch sign. So this one's a, li this is a little bit smaller. It's 48 inches, so. It's like two foot smaller. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you were two foot shorter, we'd notice it. Yeah, you'd notice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're using these cute little dog-eared fence pickets that you can get from your home improvement store. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. What are you doing? Gosh, go. Step one. <laughs> we're going to gather all of our supplies and move the table back. We're using these dog-eared fence pickets from your local home improvement store that already come like the perfect size. You don't even have to cut them down or anything. And then some quarter inch MDF. So we're gonna make those letters pop again. Paint, glue, some nails, a saw, paint brushes. Sandpaper. Sandpaper? Yeah, cause we're gonna distress it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right. And I think that's it. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. Unless I forgot something. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. It's really just like two cuts. We need to cut the cross brace for our pickets. I don't know how long the cross brace needs to be though, so we're gonna measure it out. Oh, I also don't know how tall the letters are gonna be. I don't know where a tape measure is either, because again, we're in the middle of a craft room makeover. Yeah, he did just ask me where the tape measure was. I was like, well, I don't know. So I found a ruler. All right, what do we get? 11. 10 and three quarters. Yeah, 10 and three quarters. Yeah, 10 and three quarters. I mean, really, you're just gonna do all your measuring with a, what is that, a five foot, five foot ruler? It's a ruler. <laughs> Ruler's a ruler. Here you go, I happen to have a pencil. Oh, look at you, you're on it. My little cup of things. All right, we'll go 10 and a quarter. 10 and three quarters. So, oh, 10 and three quarters. And I think we're gonna make all these cuts. With my pocket saw. Let me go get your glasses. <laughs> Hello, pocket saw. It's been a while. Safety first. Uh, now I just need two, one for the top, one for the bottom. Step three. We're gonna glue it and pin it and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> oh, I guess we're just gonna glue it and pin it. <laughs> with a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. And remember, we have another video in case you don't know. Uh, you can do this without having to use a nail gun. You can just use the original Gorilla Glue and clamp it and let it sit and dry. We'll put a video of where we did this method in another front porch sign. But in the interest of time, we're gonna go ahead and glue and nail ours so that we can keep this process moving along. Is there any specific distance from the top and the bottom? No, I'd say it's probably good to go. No, I don't think so. What are the chances I nailed it to the table? 
Nine. Oh, I thought you tricked me. I did think that you, you did a pretty good job then. The way you went out like that, that was good. Step four. Back to painting. I caught it again. <laughs> Just using the country chic paint again. Again, because it's one coat. Yes, we're gonna use, this time, I think I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, the letters are gonna be white, so instead of using the bright pop of red, I'm gonna use Paint the Town, which is a little bit darker oh, red. The Town, that already sounds romantic. I didn't mention before, probably should have at the beginning, that these boards are pressure treated as well. So they're perfect boards to use for your front porch signs. They can, they can take the heat. They can take it. They can take the heat, the rain, the snow, the... Well, your chalk paint isn't that great in all that oh, yeah. weather. Well, we'll give it a clear coat. Yes, but still, I wouldn't leave the finished design, but they, they are, they handle the cold and the... Yeah. I don't know, moisture in the air. They got it covered. Ooh, caught about a tip tip. All right, now we're just gonna do some dry brushing with the white. So I'm just gonna, I'm using this horse hair brush. I don't care if it's all messed up. The more messed up and crusty, the better. You don't want it to be real flexible. Just gonna give a little dippity dab in that paint. I'm gonna tap it off, tap it off. Make the brush all crusty and gross and messed up. Look at that, see it? Now I'm just gonna. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I want it mostly around the edge, just the little spots on the edges, yeah. maybe in between the cracks, mm -hmm. like it was once white. Yeah, so I gotcha. I consider doing a white bonnet base coat and then the red coat and then distress, but that's a lot of paint. So we're gonna try it this way. Yeah. I'm still gonna distress it a little bit. Save a little paint though, so I'm coming in. All right, do it, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right there, that's what I'm saying. Get them stuck in the cracks. Yes, yes, Just very good. Little, that's exactly what I wanted. A little brush down here. Go around the outside edges. Go around the outside. All around the outside. Like, we'll go around the outside like two trailer park girls. <laughs> You guys always get his music references. He's always throwing something out there. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Might have to come back because I do want us to stress it some. Might have to hit it again. Real time. This is not sped up. Not sped up. <laughs> Actually painting that fast. That's yeah, how much he hates painting. <laughs> You get it over and down. Well. All right, so I'm gonna hit the edges with this 120 sand paint. And now we're gonna make some more cuts. We're gonna take the MDF over to the Glowforge and cut out our letters and our little heart. But I don't know what size to make them yet, so we're gonna try to figure that out. So this is a mere 48 inches. And what do we want at the top and bottom? Oh, wait, okay. So I'm thinking like three inches at the top, Three inches at the bottom. All right. So, so that's 42 inches. 42, so. Uh huh. Well, let's move this down. Three inches. Mm hmm. There to there, okay. And then I want maybe, what, an inch and a half between each of the letters. Mm -hmm. So that's three, four and a half. 
Well, that would be three spaces. Uh-huh. So let's see, four and a half. Uh-huh. All right, so. So that's 38, 37 and a half. 37 and a half. Divided by four. four. Alexa, what's 37 and a half divided by four? 37.5 divided by four is 9.37 inches. Alexa, what's 37 and a half divided by four? That seemed a little big, so we'll go 9.25. Great, nine and a quarter. Yeah, nine and a quarter. Perfect. Thanks, Alexa. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Step six. Oh no. Oh, now we're gonna paint the MDF. That was a scary one, huh? Yes. I made two. I made two, one to throw in case I'm, I missed it. See? Oh, look at that, I see that now. Our letters are painted, looking white. Just white. Yeah. And that's what we said as we were painting them and finishing it up. They're just yeah. kind of plain white. Yeah. And we've distressed our board. And I feel like these need to be distressed a little. So what are we gonna do? What do we decide Wax to do? Wax them. <laughs> so we have some of this country chic antiquing wax. All right, I'm just gonna <clears throat> use this little paper towel and I'm just gonna hit the edges of it. Just nipping it. Just getting a little nip on the edge. Looks like it's a little dirty, a little manhandled. It's been around the block. It knows a few things. It's got some street smarts. <laughs> I like them better. V. Eve. Love. The love boat. Oh man, do you remember the love boat? I do. Yeah. Step seven. We're gonna glue our letters to the board. And that, that's really it, right? Yeah. time to wait for this glue to dry. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. I'm gonna try to put it in like incognito places, what do you think? I was gonna say, there is no incognito place. Now it's a glued and nailed, bam. That's good, I love it. It's mm. exactly what I wanted. Yes, looks great. What do you think about the reds? I really like the bright red. I like the dirty look of this one, but the bright red seems to <laughs> pop. It's an aged look, not aged. dirty. This is aged love. Yeah, so I really tried to showcase the two red paints here. I think they're both great. It's your personal preference. Uh, devotion and paint the town. No. Paint the town, yeah, paint the town. Mm. Yeah, cause I was like, oh, that's so romantic. Paint the town. I think devotion was a romantic one. Well, yeah, well, the, hey, that was a devotion and paint the town. They both sound romantic. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you guys aren't going to join us for the patron after show, I guess we'll see you next week because uh, it's about that time. I gotta go get some pizza and I'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. I'm really going to get some pizza. It's Hawaiian. 
I love a good Hawaiian oh, pizza. God, babe, I don't know if there's any left for you. I'm sorry. What? What? They were Sarah went to town on it, and I, I have a feeling. And Belle had a slice in her hand. Man, don't rush now. <laughs>